Do you know that gluten-free industry has grown 136% since 2013? Merely in 2015, the gluten-free products sold for about $12 billion. It's also fascinating that amongst the biggest purchasers of gluten-free products are individuals who do not have celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. Wonder why? The top three reasons that are quoted to favor gluten-free products are no reason at all, we were looking for a healthier option, and it improves our digestive health. So is gluten really harmful or is it beneficial for our health? Well, the simple answer is it can be either. It just depends on the individual. Let me clarify this topic by dividing it into fewer, simpler questions. Number one, what is gluten? Gluten is a naturally occurring binder protein present in certain grains such as wheat, barley, and rye. It adds the stretch quality to the dough. We can stretch the dough. Without gluten, the dough would rip apart. Are there any health benefits of gluten? Well, negative media attention has resulted in people questioning the beneficial effect and its harmful effects on health. Published research, however, tells a different story. In 2017, a prospective study of more than 100,000 100, individuals revealed that long-term gluten consumption does not cause any increase in heart disease risk. In fact, Individuals who do not have celiac disease and avoided gluten may inflate their risk of cardiovascular diseases. And that is potentially because they avoid eating whole grains. Number two, gluten can act as a prebiotic, which means it can act as a fodder for good bacteria in our gut. These bacteria are important in healthy functioning of our gut system. When these bacteria are adversely impacted, it can cause uh, disturbances in gut microbiome resulting in certain disorders such as inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, or even colorectal cancer. When does gluten cause harm? In certain individuals, gluten may be perceived as a toxin protein. In these individuals, the body overreacts to gluten by producing certain chemicals which result in the formation of a great battleground starting gut inflammatory response. If a sensitive individual unknowingly continues to consume gluten, it results in adverse health impact. This disorder is known as celiac disease and it is an autoimmune disorder. It is estimated that about 1% of population in America has the disease, or about 1 in 133 individuals suffer from celiac disease. Its symptoms may range from mild to severe. In mild cases, individuals may just have bloating, alternating diarrhea and constipation, or mild abdominal discomfort. Whereas in severe cases, it can cause unintentional weight loss, failure to thrive, malnutrition and maldigestion, severe diarrhea, and even increase the risk of small bowel lymphoma. There are some variants where individuals do not have overt celiac disease but may have mild gluten sensitivity or dermatologic conditions such as dermatitis herpetiformis. In these conditions, individuals may have some skin blisters which are caused by gluten. Majority of the individuals with celiac disease may have dermatitis herpetiformis. However, individuals with the skin condition alone may not have overt celiac disease. These individuals also would need to avoid gluten. If an individual does not suffer from celiac disease, which can be tested by just a simple blood test, and if they do not have overt dermatologic conditions, 
gluten can be safely consumed. Now, let me tell you some inherently gluten-free grains, which would be a good source for individuals who have celiac disease. These include quinoa, brown, black or red rice, millets, corn, sorghum, and buckwheat, and gluten-free oats. Now, time for takeaway. Most individuals can consume gluten throughout their lives without any adverse health impact. And in fact, if you do not have uh, underlying celiac disease or a bad gluten sensitive disorder, you should not try to avoid gluten as avoiding gluten and eating gluten free processed foods may actually cause more damage to the health than prove to be beneficial. If you think you have celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, please consult your physician and because a simple blood test can tell you if you have gluten sensitivity or celiac disease. Thank you very much for listening. Stay safe and keep smiling.